Hi guys, it's Nat. Welcome back to my channel. So happy you're here today. Today's video is a video that I know a couple of you have been wanting to see it. Um, I've watched a couple videos on this to kind of see, you know, get an idea of how it goes. But today's video is going to be in assumptions about me is going to be this video but um please make sure to like comment subscribe share there's a lot of videos and ideas coming soon also let me know in the comments below any ideas of or videos that you guys want to see because i'm very interested so without further ado let's get to it okay so the first one let me find it the first one says you dislike your bff what no no, of course I don't dislike my BFF. I I love her. Like, you guys know I'm talking about Brianna. I literally, like, I trust this girl with my life. <laughs> like, I'm being serious. Um, no. To answer your assumption, no. I don't dislike my BFF. I love her to death. And that's my comadre. She's going to be the god mom of my kids. My maid of honor, everything, you know, that is her, that is my Brie. I love Brie. <laughs> I'm like, this is a Brianna Arevalo fan club, if you didn't know already. This is a Brianna flat fan club. Oh, this one's a good one. It says, you wear, how do I say this? Like, basically saying, like, I wear the pants in the relationship. Like, like saying, like, I, like, like... <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, rule the relationship? No. No. And I don't let them rule it either, you know? Um, I mean, actually, let me rephrase that. I, I don't really like to, like, wear the pants. And then I don't like them to wear the pants either. Like, we both, we both have, like, it's like we both share one leg. No. We each have one leg. You know what that means? You know what I mean? Like, I have one leg and then he has the other leg and, like, Together we make one pant. One, one, uh, together we make one pair of jeans. That's what I mean. Um, but no, um, I, I don't. I don't wear the pants. And if he tries to wear the pants, I don't really like that either. It, it's kind of like, you know, I wanted to be fifty-fifty and just just happy, man. Like, can we just be balanced and happy? And you know. Like, I won't control you, you won't control me, we'll respect the space, like, we'll respect each other's space, each other's, you know, lives, friends, whatever, but like, I'm not gonna control you, and you know, please don't try to control me. The kind of career that I, I want, or like, you know, that I do, obviously I'm very public, so you know, I have YouTube, and you know, my music, and you know, um, Instagram, whatever you want to call it, like social media, I guess. I, I have to be very public, I have to be very social, I have to work with guys sometimes, you know? And so, I I can't really be with somebody who, you know, like, doesn't want me to, like, do any of that. And it's like, you know, I respect the relationship I'm in, and I respect the person I'm with, but, you know... Sometimes this is just like a job I have to do. But to answer your assumption, no. I don't wear the pants and I don't let them wear it either. We each share a leg and we have one pair of jeans. That's how it goes. <laughs> the, next, the next assumption says, you do fitness. <laughs> no. I like walking. I like going on walks going on runs, being outdoors, like hiking, like just like nature, you know, and I'm mean, in a way that is fitness because you know you're you're doing stuff, but like um I I think the way I am is like I have phases kind of like where I'm really into it and then other times where like I'm just into other things right now, like other priorities, you know. But I I like fitness. Like I like it. Um you know, I like the feeling I like the feeling you get, you know, when you're done, obviously seeing the results, like, I just think overall it's really good for you, and I enjoy it, you know, but only if it's, like, 
I'm doing by myself. Like, I'm the kind where I can't really work out, like, in a gym. Yeah, so I don't do fitness. I, I don't consider myself a super fit person. But um, also, I don't hate it either. I, it's like, you know, I like it. Okay, I have another one that says, You've never gotten a pimple in your entire life. I, you, oh. You probably can't see them, but... You know, I, I do I do have my breakout moments, guys. And I like, sh I like panic over them. Um, I've never really had like really bad acne, but I, I do break out, you know. And it's, sometimes it could be like hormonal and like I'll notice it. Or like other times it'll just be like stress or I'm not sleeping enough, you know. The next assumption says, you're super confident. <sighs> That's that's kind of a tricky one because um, I I consider myself a confident person in the sense where I'm like I said I'm not shy so I just go for things like I just go for it like if I want to like talk to somebody walk walk up to somebody like do something like I'll just go for it so I'm confident in that sense with myself no um. You know, you see on social media and, like, a person's page, like, you see them and you're like, wow, they seem so confident, they seem so, like, like they have it together, you know? But, um, I, you know, behind closed curtains, I struggle a lot with myself. So, I am confident because I'm a confident person and I just go for things and I, I normally, that that's not... That's norm that normally isn't an issue for me. I uh, I don't have a problem like being out there. But uh, if you're talking about like self confidence, that's something I do struggle with, and I don't consider myself to have a lot of it sometimes. It's, okay, this next assumption says it's really easy for you to write a song. No, <laughs> no, just flat out no. I wouldn't, it's natural for me, like it comes natural, but it's not easy. It's never really easy because every time you start a new song, it's like, you're like an infant all over again. Like, there's not a formula for writing it, it's just, you know, it just sometimes it comes to you, sometimes it doesn't. And sometimes you have to really work hard and push it to find it. It's never easy because since it's so personal and important to me, um, I want to do it right. But also, it's not hard either because it, it's like I feel like it kind of comes natural to me. If I'm really emotional or like really impacted by whatever I'm writing about, it makes it easier doesn't make it fully easy but it makes it easier I've written songs in a decent or like pretty fast amount of time because I'm very like em emotional about them you know so it's I assumed when I first met you that your favorite artist was Taylor Swift but it surprised me that you liked Alta Consigna etc okay 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 <laughs> so um ah you some if not all of you know and if you don't know i'm a huge taylor swift fan like that is my girl like oh my gosh i love taylor swift and i that's a whole other thing you know i can make like 15 videos on why i love her so like when this person first met me they met me i think it was like freshman yeah it was freshman year and freshman year i was really into um mexican music i, I am mexican but like um i was really into like like Hispanic music, you know, like regional mexicano, norteño, all that. Like I was really, I don't know why I was really into it. I don't even know how it happened. It just happened. And so, uh, they said that they their assumption to me when they first met me was that they were so shocked that I liked them. And I said I know because um, a lot of people were like, oh, she likes Taylor Swift. Like, mm, you know, like grew out of that. But my freshman year, I was really into it. Okay, the next assumption says, when I first met you, I first assumed you were, you were the quite shy type, lol. <laughs> I'm not shy. I'm not shy. I, 
No. I don't know. I'm I'm not yeah, I do talk a lot. But um no, I'm not shy to answer your assumption. Um I'm I like talking to people, I like meeting new people, um, I like making new friends. I just love to talk, you know? And just communicate and socialize, like I don't know, I, I really like it. So nope, I am not the shy type and you know that now, so Okay. This next one says you get a lot of guys in your DMs. Where? No. I don't. Um, and a lot of people assume that. A lot of people do assume that. But I, I, I'm serious. I don't know what it is. I just don't. Like, you guys have no idea how many times, like, I've actually had a slide into the DMs. Like, I know guilty me like where I've done it you know but I'm just like dude I don't know what it is like they don't come to me so you know what what's a girl gotta do you know um but I will say like there there's sometimes where like you know if you post a really good picture I'll get like a couple but it's literally like not even like people who like I'd even be with it's like older people or like you know People I don't even know, you know, like, it's just not, not like a bit, if that makes sense. I just want to be appreciated. I want to be appreciated. Who want me? Just kidding, guys. You don't want me. I'm too complicated. Um, and you know what? I'm okay. I'm okay with the fact that guys don't hit me up because, you know, the right one will. And, um, not saying that, not saying if you hit me up, you're the right one, you know, but I'm saying like, you know, just the right one will come, or like the right thing will the right thing will happen. So I don't care if guys hit me up or not. Like hey guys, I'm sorry I didn't record an outro to this video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, whatever you want to do with it, as long as it's positive. Have a good one, guys. Thank you.